What's going on guys? You're chilling with Trainers Zabuza, and today I've got a poke analysis for you. This poke analysis, we're going to be looking at Butterfree in the NU tier. Butterfree, Zabuza, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. This was a request by Hardy Tech Yo Yo, and you know what? He's a good bud of mine, so I'm not going to turn him down. And plus, I have nothing better to do, so why not? Now, looking at Butterfree, it has a lot of weaknesses here. It's weak to flying, ice, rock, electric, fire. Uh, rock and ice being really common offensive typings, so you need to watch out for that. But it actually has a couple good resistances in grass and fighting and an immunity to ground. Now that resistance to ground and or that resistance to fighting and immunity to ground comes in really handy. But it's a little iffy because Pokemon with ground coverage or Pokemon with ground type moves usually have the edge quake coverage or maybe a super effective move to hit uh, where what rocks can. So there's a little potential worry in that, but otherwise you're good to go. Now its ability. It's got Compound Eyes, which uh, increases accuracy by 30% of moves, which I love. And then it's got Tinted Lens, which I actually never knew about uh, before. I like, I've like i heard of the ability, but I never really knew what it did. And this makes sense why Yan Mega runs Tinted Lens sometimes over Speed Boost. Just looking at this ability, not very effective moves have their power doubled. That means everything is at least regularly effective. Unless it's 4x resisted, then it's just not very effective, which is great. It takes requiring moves with an offensive coverage out of the equation. And looking at these stats, you know, they're pretty low overall. I mean, the defense is laughable, the attack laughable, the speed isn't great, special defense is okay, but the special attack is base 90, which is pretty good. And I'm glad that it's base 90, because last generation it was base 80, and it got a nice buff. Moving on to the most common set. The most common set is going to have leftovers, but I find that you can also run a life orb if you want to get more damage with compound eyes, but you can run tinted lens too, and I'll explain this in a bit, because... It's not very complicated, but it has to go with the moves. A modest or timid nature, again, whether you want to be more speedy or whether you want to get more damage output, with an EV spread of 4 defense, 252 special attack, and 252 speed. Make sure you put this 4 in defense or special defense, because if you put it in HP, you're going to get an even number, which means it can only switch into stealth rocks once. And for the moves, we got the bread and butter free set. <laughs> oh god, kill me now. So we've got Quiver Dance, which is going to boost the special attack and speed, and special defense, but that's not really what we're aiming for here. The second move can be Sleep Powder or Substitute. I would recommend Sleep Powder if you're going with Compound Eyes, because then you'd get a 90 accuracy Sleep Powder, I believe. And if you want to go Tinted Lens, you could still run Sleep Powder just in case, but your Sleep Powder does have a higher chance to miss, and in which case you could just go for Substitute. So really, it's a user's preference there. But the most standard set is Compound Eyes and Sleep Powder. The third move being Bug Buds for a nice stab option, and the final move being Giga Drain, which Giga Drain gives the Butterfree some nice recovery without having to give up its offenses. And again, if you're running Tinted Lens, then Giga Drain is a pretty damn good coverage move to get back HP in conjunction with Substitute. So like I said before, this is the bread and butter set of Butterfree. It is a setup sweeper, surprisingly enough, and it can work, but it definitely needs support. Again, this is why it's NU. So be advised when using this set, you're going to need to try and come in when you know you can do it. Next, I don't really have any custom sets for you, but I do have a gimmick set for you, which is kind of like a custom set in my opinion, but it just dies so easily, it's not really worth calling it a custom set. So this gimmick set is leftovers with the ability compound eyes and a timid nature with 248 HP, again, so you get that odd number for stealth rocks, 252 speed, and 8 AVs anywhere else. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can put them in attack for all I care. Uh, you would want to put it in defense or special defense, but otherwise it just doesn't matter. With the first move being Defog, Roost, and then an option of Bug Buzz or Giga Drain. Bug Buzz being your stab, but Giga Drain giving you an option to get HP back other than Roost. And the fourth move being Sleep Powder. Now the whole point of this set is for Defog. Sure, you can use other Pokemon for Defog, but Butterfree is one of the only Pokemon with Compound Eye, Sleep Powder, that can also Defog. But Zabza, what about Vivillion? Not quite, Vivillion does not have access to Defog, so Butterfree is your way to go in that route. And while I know that was kind of short, that's all I have for the movesets, so let's get to the teammates and Checks Encounters. Checks Encounters include most Fire types, but I'm putting Magmortar here because it has access to Vital Spirit. Most Fire types are going to resist both Butterfree's hits, and take little to no damage unless you're running the Tinted Lens set. And Choice Scarf Magmortar especially can come in and threaten Butterfree out with a Fire Blast. Next, a pretty common Pokemon that wallets Butterfree is Dewblade. Now, Dewblade is really tricky. Even with your Tinted Lens set, Dewblade 4x resists Bug Buzz, so that means with Tinted Lens, it would still be taking half damage. And with a non-stab Giga Drain, while that would do, I think, the same amount as a regular Giga Drain, 
again, it's non-stab Giga Drain, so it's not going to do that much. Another counter is pretty much any seal type in general. Sure, with the Tinted Lens set, you can get around that, but if you're running the Compound Eye set, keep in mind that all steel types are going to resist both your moves. The reason I mentioned Dewblade specifically as another one is because of its 4x resistance to Butterfree's main stab. And finally, if you decide to use the Defog set, something you need to worry about are Pokémon such as Braviary. Braviary resists both of the normal Butterfree stabs, and for the Defog Butterfree, it can come in on a Defog and get a Defiant boost, which is absolutely terrifying. The same thing can be said for Pokémon such as Primeape, who resists Bug Buzz, but they don't resist Giga Drain, so you do have some hope there. Now, possible teammates can include Golem, which is a huge defensive monster, and can take care of like four of Butterfree's weaknesses besides ice. It resists flying, rock, fire, you, you know what, you're good. You don't have to worry about it as long as you send in Golem. And not to mention, Butterfree actually covers Golem pretty well too. Not well, I mean, you should never be using Butterfree as a switch in to take hits, but it can resist some of Golem's weaknesses. Another Pokemon to consider is Magneton. Now, Magneton was definitely a threat to Butterfree, but it also makes a good teammate considering it covers all its weaknesses but fire. And on the Switch, it can get off a Volt Switch to give you some offensive momentum. And again, like Golem, but with Butterfree's immunity to ground and resistance to fighting, it can cover Magneton pretty well. Next, we have Fletchinder, which, I'm gonna be honest, I listed Fletchinder here solely because, thanks to the Defog set with Butterfree, Fletchinder could really use support from a Rapid Spinner or Defogger that will get rid of rocks. And you know what? Since one of these sets is a Defog Butterfree, Fletchinder would probably make a good ally. And finally, if you're not using the Defog set on Butterfree, Torkoal or another Rapid Spinner or Defogger would be a nice option to consider as a teammate considering Butterfree is 4x weak to rocks, but appreciates the support that comes from Defogs and Rapid Spins. Again, this kind of teammate only really works if you're not running the Defog set, so keep that in mind. But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Poke Analysis, and I will see you next time.